हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ संजय मठ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ऑलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द आर्थोपिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ अ सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई एम एक्सप्लेन रिगार्डिंग द बेसिक थिंग्स द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज टू बी स्टूडेंट विल एबल टू ड्रॉ द आर्थिक प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ अ सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट Uh, this is a simple topic for this one. A simple object is placed in front of you, and this is the arrow. In the direction of arrow X, you have to draw the front view. How to draw the front view? You have to check that which plane in that direction of X, which plane are parallel to you. And before that, first you have to check the maximum dimensions. So with respect to maximum dimensions, we make some rough idea for that. So what is the maximum? You have to start with this one. Huh? The maximum length is 100 mm, and the maximum height is 75 mm. Okay, hundred by seventy. So we have to start with this plane. This hundred, and the vertical height is seventy. But this is inclined portion. Up to here, it is uh, uh, from the top end. It is sixteen one. Sixteen minus seven. Uh, sorry, fifteen one. Fifteen minus seventy. There is a sixty mm. So we have to vertically travel sixty mm. Okay, then. What is the vertical height of this one? It is given as here. It is a 22 mm. So travel 22 mm. And this end is to be again. It is a, it is a 22, but this slab width is 15 mm. So to travel 15 mm. so this shaded portion which is parallel to you you have to draw as it is okay then this inclined portion is to be there which portion is inclined this i am showing this red color inclined is there but it is perpendicular to what is the vertical height total height is it is given as 75 to travel this much length and extend that is a square block is to be there so these two for surface are there there is one more supporting rib is to be there and the rib starts from here here it is given as 40 mm so it is a 40 mm and ends where how much it is total length is 70 from this end it is a 30 mm so it to travel 30 mm in this direction and where it starts it starts here so join it okay this portion is to be there so this What do you call this portion? I am showing here. Hmm? So this is the front view. So when you have to draw this front view, when you have to draw the front view, one more what do you call edge or surface which is hidden one. It will not seen in the front view. Which one? This surface, this surface and this surface. There is a guide way for this one. So this plane is to be here. Up to here, but when you have to see from the front view, it is hidden, invisible one. So you have to think over that how to draw this hidden portion, the hidden line, the hidden edge, the hidden surface. Okay, so the hidden surface you have to show on the hidden surface is shown as a line, as a dotted line. Okay, so there are two surfaces. Uh, this edge is there, this edge is there, but this edge is exactly behind of that. So You have to draw one dotted line where it starts from top, starting to end surface one. And what is the vertical height? It is given as 12 mm. So from the 12 mm, you have to draw the dotted line from start to end one. This is all about the front view. What is the remaining? This edge is this edge and the dotted. Now we have to. You are observer is here. You have to rotate it through and see that object from the top view. When you have to see from the object from the top view, length is already given. That is 100 mm. This one. And what about the width? Width is given as 64 mm. You make a square, square block of this one. Draw the draw the respective generators, paint generators. Okay. And 60. Here you have to draw first. Draw a center line because center line is very important when you have to draw the next view. Or in the orthopedic projection. 
center line is from the center line whatever the dimensions whatever the generators whatever the measurements you have to calculate that is related to the center line okay. so what is the width 64 mm you have to travel 32 mm and 30 above and below join it so to make a block for this one now when you see from the top view this surface this red one again in the front view it is inclined you have to say as a compressed rectangle or inclined uh, uh, rectangle is to be there again same portion on the other side, right side is to be there. What is the width and this portion? So there are, you need to see from the top view, there are three rectangles, the first rectangle, second rectangle, and the third rectangle. So what are the dimensions it is given as? From the center line, it is uh, it, it is given as 16 mm. So from the both end, it is 16 and 16. 16, 16. And what is the width? Width is already given here. to draw the three rectangles first second and the third so this portion is to be over now what about this rib this rib we need to see from the top view again it is not a perpendicular one this portion is to be there 12 mm rib supporting rib is to be there where it starts it start here and ends up to here here it is ends hmm? what is the width 16 mm 12 mm so travel 6 mm and 6 mm both aside 6 mm and 6 mm and join it. Okay, so this is a top view. But one more portion, one more view, we have to draw it. Some portion is missing is here. Which portion is missing here? Again, it is a guideway. This guideway is to be there. We have to see from the top view, this edge is there. Where is this edge? This is the first edge. It start to end. The second edge start to end. The third edge, it is bottom one. Again, it is start to end. So there are four. So when you have to think for that, how to draw this uh, hidden portion? So this hidden portion, when you have to draw in the top view, when you have to show that hidden portion is to be there, that is a dotted one. Again, check the dimensions for that. What is the dimensions? The top one is 64 mm, and this one is a 30 mm. So from when it is a 30 mm travel 15 mm and 15 mm on both sides this is a three, two, 20 mm draw the dotted line from start to end one because this hidden portions hidden edge hidden plane hidden line that is to be shown by a dotted line as per our conventions, the line convention showing in the first video, the dark line, dotted line, center line. Huh. One more, uh, two edges are there, that is at the bottom. What is the width it is to be given? When you have to go for, this is 60 degree, when you have to calculate this one, it is a 18 mm, 9 mm you have to travel, upward 9 mm travel in the downward one. Again, it is start to end one. This is a hidden edge that is at the bottom surface. Okay. Now, whatever the planes are parallel, you have to draw as it is. The planes which are inclined, that length are shortened one. And some hidden portions are there. That hidden portions we have to draw with a dotted one. This is all about the front view and the top view. So, uh, lighter one, you have to go for the side view. In the first view, I'm explaining about side view, draw the respective generators of the front view, draw the respective generators of the top view with rotating 45 degree. The intersections lines, you have to project it and think over that, which is a draw as a dark line and which is a dotted line. So, this is all about the atomic projection of the front view and the uh, top view.
थैंक यू